Having experience on your instrument and some musical performance experience does come in handy and you do get that on the course as well. So it's really cool that we get experience in the studios and that gives the students uh, the opportunity to play the drums, play, uh, we've got basses, we've got guitars, acoustic, electric, we've got keys, we've got pianos, we've got all kinds of microphones, different um, studio suites as well and they can have a go at mixing on the desk as well. So at this course students go into um, production uh, careers in production. So at this course students go into um, the rigging, rigging of festivals, live events and things like that. They can go into music production, so if they go into the studio they'll be the producer or mixing engineer in the studio as well. Sound engineer, lighting engineer, um, sound design, uh, designer, lighting designer for tours and things like that. Um, tour management, music agents, there's so many things. Our students um, join our course primarily because they want to work in the creative industries, be it fil film, television or radio, or now working in marketing or areas where there's an opportunity to do things like video editing, filming, videography, uh, podcasting, um, and, and, and the more traditional kind of subjects like film production. It, it's something that is still as, as popular as it's ever been for students. Students at the college get a chance to develop skills and knowledge in creative media production, and what that means is they get the opportunity to use things like the television studio that we have, uh, video editing software which is Adobe software which is industry standard and also uh, get to use things like our filming kits they can go out and about with. Uh, likewise we've got a, a fully functioning radio studio so they get the opportunity to do radio broadcasting um, and also and, and podcasting as well as we mentioned before. So students when they leave here if be after three or two years uh, have covered a number of areas which are, are kind of key skills and knowledge for the industry. The course is all about helping students to work out what they really want to do, giving them an opportunity to um, work out what area of art and design, what area of the career uh, and the creative arts that they'd like to work in. The course really is set up to help students really work that out and we um, give them lots of different projects and we support them with all sorts of um, assignments and we take them out and we get them to talk to professionals and really just to understand the different sorts of career routes that are available. And Really, the art and design area is absolutely ginormous. The different sort of career routes that many, many uh, of our students will go into is absolutely vast. So they can go into um, sort of freelance work, um, working in fields where they would be uh, self-employed, in a whole spectrum of different areas from fashion design through to sculpture, fine art, jewellery design, product design. Some will go into the field of work where they actually work for a small company or perhaps even a larger company. Perhaps some might set up their own businesses. So there's a whole host of different um, opportunities out there for students studying art and design. And it's really about what they want to do, what they're interested in, and help, us helping to sort of get them to where they want to be. There's a lot, there's a lot of roles in games, really. I mean, it's a big umbrella. Obviously, um, programming, level design, uh, games design, um, art, concept art, uh, 3D uh, modelling, uh, animation, uh, audio, to name but a few really. There's quite, it's quite a lot of roles really. I mean, it, we, we've, we've even had a couple of students that have ended up uh, furthering their studies with like game story development as well, so script writing. Because obviously games nowadays are very kind of narrative driven and story, story you know, kind of based as well. But career paths, pretty much everything. We've, we've had students go into um, like programming, uh, art, you know, art. Um, some have gone into testing, um, level design. Um, we've had students work for like Rockstar Games, uh, quite a few other studios as well. And uh, we do, a good thing at the college as well, we do offer you know, um, physical work placements with studios as well. There's so many career paths, so many people think that studying performing arts means that you just have to study performing arts as a job, but the whole interesting thing about performing arts is those fundamental skills that you get 
So the, the ability to think outside of a box, so you can go into marketing, you can go into uh, journalism, you can go into kind of drama therapy and how you use drama skills to kind of go into the medical industry to kind of overcome issues um, of abuse or kind of uh, any aspects within children or adults. You can work in prisons, you know, with drama therapy, um, choreographers, you can go into cruises, you can go into West End, you can go into theatre, uh, film. So, so many of our students have gone on to so many different things from being choreographers on the kind of the Royal Caribbean to one of our um, past students who has now got a part in uh, Waterloo Road to working on some of the top kind of Hollywood films of kind of Star Wars. So there's so many aspects, but also starting up your own theatre companies, your own dance companies. Um, you have all those skill sets to be able to kind of put them into a path that you want to follow. So on our photography courses, they cover a whole spectrum of photography and digital arts. We do everything from darkroom and analogue photography, right up to contemporary commercial photography in the studios, on location, uh, as well as traditional um, digital art like Photoshop and graphic design elements. The photography industry is mostly freelance, so they tend to go off as freelancers. Um, but the joys of photography is that you're in the business of vanity and making things look good. And nearly every creative industry, nearly every industry, in fact, want people who can produce great imagery that sells their products. So you can work for, a you can be a staff photographer and work for a company, being their in-house photographer. As I said, most of it is freelance. Um, but you can don't just have to leave this course and be a photographer. You can go into a whole remix of, you can go into digital art, you can go into fine art, you can go into visual communications, you can work in digital marketing, social media management. It's uh, really very much a modern commercial digital course to give you the skills to go out and be a modern day digital creative. Part of it, as well as um, the skills that you learn, like general photographic skills, you learn a whole host of it. So understanding things like model direction, how to talk to people, pose people, um, makeup, fashion design, all that kind of stuff. Because you work, photography in the commercial aspect is very much a um, communication subject. So you're working with other people. And part of our um, goal here is to make sure that we give you those um, soft skills that go with the course. So to be able to be a good communicator, be able to know how to work as part of a team and just again, force you to be an all well-rounded creative person.